Hello, college football fans. It is week 10. We're down to a little bit more than a month. Not more than a month. Right about a month left in the college football season. The month. The most important month. So who starts the most important month off with wins and losses? I'll tell you who. So don't go away. And we'll get into it. All next, only right here, Bromo Senior 1982, Week 10, Winners and Losers. Here we go! Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name's Harry James. It is week 10 in college football. So let's break this thing down, winners and losers, and we'll start in the Big 12. And it's time that Oklahoma finally plays a midweek game. They've gone through the last few years in this league without playing a midweek game. They played one against Baylor, I think, one year. That's about it. They haven't had another. Well, they finally do. They'll be on the road in Ames against Iowa State in this ball game. Um, obviously, I'm not going to pick this game because I don't want to sound like a homer. So, what's got to happen? If you're Oklahoma, what you've got to do in this ball game, do your job. Do what you do. Don't pay attention to the outside voices. Don't pay attention to Baylor coming in next week and just do your job, and you should be okay. In this ball game. Now, if you're Iowa State, you've kept teams close. Yes, you're one and seven, but you've been able to keep your team in a couple of these ball games with defense and just enough offense. Get your defense to step it up. Make a couple of big time plays because uh, my Sooners have been known to be a bit uh, sketchy in their past. Defense. So hit those on the left or right side. And then uh, defensively, as far as yourself, like I said, it's a very bend but don't break. Just don't break. Much like Oklahoma's been uh, blowing out teams and uh, they won the hard, they won the hard one against Texas Tech, but they were still in it. You guys are in it also. It's just that you guys are at the other end of the stick. You got to get on the on the correct side of the stick, and to do that. You just got to play well. Um, use the crowd. It's Thursday night. Use the crowd with you. Feel the crowd behind you. Go out there and get the win if you can against my beloved Sooners. We'll stay in Big 12 play a minute as we go from Thursday night football to Saturday morning football. Texas will be on the road in Lubbock at, Texas, at rival Texas Tech in Lubbock on Fox Sports 1. I was very impressed with what Texas did, but that was a home game. They're not going to be able to get Mahomes and company in Lubbock. Not easy, and it will not be easy. I think Texas Tech's going to get this one. The uh, two noon games, the two mid games, these are two games that are interesting. O State at Kansas State on ABC or ESPN2, whether whichever one you're watching. I'm actually going to go with Oklahoma State in this ball game. I think they showed me a lot against West Virginia. Um, it, it, uh, Kansas State, they're good, but they haven't been themselves. Can't, I think Oklahoma State gets this one. And then Baylor at TCU on Fox National. Baylor. Bay bounce back. I'm not going to say big because TCU can score with them if they play the way they do. So they can score with them. But I think Baylor's going to win the ball game. In the night cap, 6 p.m., the uh, night game might as well be a basketball game between West Virginia and Kansas, uh, Kansas and West Virginia. But it's not. It's a football game between the Jayhawks and the Mountaineers on ESPN2. So you got to go with West Virginia. They're going to bounce back. Huge win. In Motown for them. Momentum. 
the rest of the games, uh, Tuesday night, there is some Tuesday night college football. Bowling Green will be at Northern Illinois right after Halloween on ESPNU. I'm going to go with you and I. ESPN2 will have Western Michigan at Bowl State on ESPN2 at uh, 7 p.m. I'm going to go with Western Michigan. Wednesday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, Toledo will be at Akron on ESPN2. I'm going to go with Akron. Uh, Thursday night football, the rest of the Thursday night slate looks like this. There are a couple games before. We just start off at 6.30, like 5 o'clock between Buffalo and Ohio. CBS Sports Network, I'm going to go with Ohio. Arkansas State at Georgia State. On ESPNU, I'm going to go with Arkansas State. And UCLA at Colorado on Fox Sports 1. I'm going with Colorado. 5 o'clock on Friday night. Central Michigan at Miami of Ohio on CBS Sports Network. I'm going to go with Miami of Ohio. 6 o'clock p.m. Temple will be at UC UConn, University of Connecticut. ESPN 2, I'm going to go with Temple. And the final game on the Thursday night, Boise State tries to bounce back as they host, host San Jose State on ESPN 2. Also, I'm going to go with Boise. Saturday football. Saturday football. Big day Saturdays. The rest of the Saturday slate includes Notre Dame. They try to continue the winning streak as they will be facing Navy on CBS Sports Network. I'm actually going to go with Navy in this ballgame. I really like what they're doing, and it helps that they're not playing this game in South Bend. Uh, 11 a.m., Louisville tries to uh, continue their winning ways at Boston College, B.C. On ESPN2, I'm going to go with Louisville. Air Force will be at Army on CBS Sports Network. I'm going to go with Army. Georgia Southern will be at Ole Miss on ESPNU. I'm going to go with Ole Miss. Texas A&M and Mississippi State on the SEC Network. I'm actually going to go with A&M in this ball game. Come on, TK9. Don't let me down, big baby. Staying in the ACC, Vanderbilt will be at Auburn on ESPN. I'm going to go with Auburn. The Big Ten Network will have Indiana at Rutgers. I'm going to go with Indiana. ABC will have Wisconsin at Northwestern. I'm going to go with Northwestern. And the final game in the morning slate will be Maine. Uh, morning slate will be Michigan State at Illinois on ESPN News. I'm going to go with Michigan State. So that was the main course for uh, for uh, football in the morning. There are a few uh, snacks in the middle. Because stuck in the middle at 11.30 a.m. will be two games, both on the ACC Network. Georgia Tech at University of North Carolina. I'm going to go with North Carolina. And Pitt. At Miami, at Miami on the ACC Network, I'm going to go with Pitt. There's also an 11.30 a.m. game in that middle slate. As you, yeah, Texas San Antonio will be at Middle Tennessee State on ESPN3. I'm going to go with MTSU. And there's one final mid-sandwich mid game in between there. 2 o'clock, Virginia will be at Wake Forest on the ACC Network. I'm going to go with Wake Forest at 2 o'clock. The middle meet, 2.30 games. Syracuse at Clemson on ABC ESPN2. Mirrorage to the OSU and Kansas State matchup. This game will be uh, played in Clemson, so I'm going to be sticking with Clemson. ESPNU and the ACC will have Virginia Tech at Duke. I'm going to go with Virginia Tech. The Arm Sports Network will have a game between Charlotte and Southern Miss. I'm going to go with Southern Miss. ESPN3 will have Florida Atlantic at Rice. I'm going to go with Rice. Uh, ESPN3 will also have University of Massachusetts at Troy. I'm going to go with Troy. CBS will have Florida and Arkansas. I'm going to go with Florida. Fox Sports Mom will have Oregon's, Oregon State and Stanford. In Palo Alto, so I'm going to go with Stanford. BYU at Cincinnati on CBS Sports Network. I'm going to go with Cincinnati in this ballgame. Fresno State and Colorado State will be on the Roots Sports Network. I'm going to go with Colorado State. Purdue will be at Minnesota on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to go with Minnesota. Maryland 
at Michigan on ESPN. I'm going to go with Michigan. And finally, Texas State will be at App State. Appalachian State is App State. That's ESPN3.com at 2.30. couple of mid-games in there, too. Uh, 3 o'clock has three of them, in fact. Memphis at SMU on ESPN News. I'm going to go with SMU. Missouri at uh, South Carolina on the SEC Network. I'm going to go with South Carolina. The other game on the SEC Network will be Tennessee Tech at Tennessee on the SEC Network. I'm going to go Tennessee in this ball game. 4 o'clock. Three more games. Uh, Idaho State at University of Louisiana Lafayette, ESPN3.com. I'm going with UWL. ULM will have South Alabama on ESPN3. I'm going to go with ULM. Finally, Tulane at South uh, Central Florida, ESPN3. I'm going to go with Central Florida. A couple of more before the primetime games start, like Louisiana Tech at North Texas, ESPN3. I'm going to go with Louisiana Tech. And Florida International at Western Kentucky on the BN Sports Network. I'm going to go with Western Kentucky. The primetime slate starting at 6 o'clock is pretty fun. Uh, as Florida State and North Carolina State get it on like a rickety pound. Even though the game's on the road, I'm still going to go with Florida State. They bounce back. Oregon at USC on ESPN. I'm going to go with USC. Marshall at Old Dominion on the Armed Sports Network. I'm going to go with Old Dominion. Finally, Hawaii at San Diego State. I'm going to go with San Diego on CBS Sports Network. The primetime, primetime games, 6.30. Georgia at Kentucky on the SEC Network. Come on, Mike, Mark Stoops, you got to get this done for me, buddy. I think you will. Maybe Bob and Mike might even be there since they're playing on Thursday night. I'm going to go with Kentucky. And then speaking of Bob, Bob Stoops and Mike Stoops, their alma mater, Iowa, will be at the on the road at Penn State on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to go with Penn State in this ball game. 7 o'clock, the main, main primetime games. Alabama at LSU. I'm going to go with LSU. That game's on CBS, I do believe. Nebraska will be at the Ohio State University. I'm going to go with the, uh, Ohio State. ESPN News. We'll have our old buddies of Tulsa as their home to face East Carolina. East Carolina at Tulsa ESPN News at 6.30 p.m. I'm going with Tulsa. 9.15, the primetime, the post-primetime games. There's a couple more of these. Nevada will be at New Mexico on ESPNU. I'm going to go with Nevada. Utah State will be at Wyoming on ESPN2. I'm going with Wyoming. And finally, Cal Berkeley, they will host Washington. Washington at Cal Berkeley. I'm going to go with Berkeley in this ballgame. Ballgame is on ESPN. All right, folks, don't take any of these picks to Vegas, all right? I'm just telling you how I think it's going to happen. That doesn't mean that it's going to happen this way. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. My name is Harry James. You can... Find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or tweet me at Sooner underscore fan underscore OK. Or find me on the YouTube, Boomer Sooner 1982. Till week 11, ladies and gents, I am out of here. Enjoy week 10 of college football. See ya later.